Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In the current tutorial, I am going to show you how we can dock multiple ligands very easily by using Pyrex. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how we can integrate Pyrex with Veena. So in general, while we are using Veena, we will face a lot of uh, troubles while developing our configuration file. Whenever there is even a small mistake in this given configuration file format, the autodoc Veena won't run and it will be keep on showing us the errors. That is the advantage of using Pyrex over Veena. Here I would like to highlight few advantages of Pyrex over Veena and the very first and important thing is it is having a very great user friendly interface that is a GUI. The GUI of a Pyrex is very clear so that we can easily use it and no need of uh, switching between Word, uh, Notepad, configuration file, nothing doing. At a single stretch, at a single place that is in a single uh, software that is a Pyrex, we can start and end everything. The second one is work integration. That's what I said, workflow integration, where we can uh, do everything in a single GUI. And ligand library management became very easy because uh, once if you upload any format of uh, uh, your ligands, you can convert them into PDB and you can even convert them into PDB QT at a single place. And uh, the very much more important uh, uh, benefit of uh, Pyrex using Pyrex is all the ligands can be converted at a single stretch and the configuration file for all the ligands can be created at a single click. CD visualization has been made easy in Pyrex where you can uh, try to see uh, the 3D uh, visualization of the results by using integration integrated PyMol. And uh, everything can be inputted very easily. It put put docking. That means the docking can be done at a very uh, faster pace. And very, 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 very important. And this is the place where most of us uh, in general fails. And that is command line expertise. Even if you make a small mistake in the in while writing your command line, that's it. Uh, it's a gone case and our docking will be keep on showing errors. We won't be sometimes we won't be in a position to identify where we did that error in the command line. And all these are the advantages of using uh, Pyrex over Autodoc Vena. And now I'm going to show you what we are going to see exactly during this particular part one of uh, this Pyrex Veena tutorial. So in this part one, we are going to see how to download and install Pyrex. Followed by, we are also going to download and install BioVia Discovery Studio Visualizer for better analysis of the results. And we are going to see how we are going to collect the proteins and ligands and how we are going to download them. So these are the three parts we are going to cover in this part one of uh, Pyrex Veena tutorial. That is preparing, installing and preparing our system. Now let us start uh, downloading and installing Pyrex first. So uh, for downloading our Pyrex, in the Google, I have simply tapped PYRX and I have given a search so I can see this first page which we are going to download now. So upon clicking on this particular link, we will get navigated to the Pyrex uh, page where you can see three sorts of uh, Pyrex can be downloaded. One is a pro version and academic versions which are uh, payable. Whereas if uh, 
we are okay with downloading uh, the version which is uh, 0 0.8 and earlier it's a uh, free and of course we are going to choose that and i'm going to click on this choose which will again navigate me to the next page where i can download this so i'm clicking on this download so my download is going to start and here you can see uh, it's a 92 uh, MB file which I'm downloading. So my download is about to complete. Once after completing, let me install it. So I'm clicking on this open file. Let us see what option it's going to give. So it is asking for installing, which I have given S. And so we can see the installer setup over here. So I'm going next. And this destination folder, I'm not going to change anything. Let it be the default one next. And it's installing. Pyrex uh, installs in a very pretty uh, short time. Whenever you are installing your uh, Pyrex, uh, by default your autodoc vena also will be uh, installed into your system and you can use that vena uh, very uh, easily So uh, my Pyrex is installed and I'm ready to use this Pyrex. So I'm clicking on the finish button where I can see the launch of uh, Pyrex. So this is the uh, Pyrex GUI, which we are going to deal it with uh, later. So the second software, what we are going to use for this tutorial is BioVia Discovery Studio Visualizer which I have Googled the same. Upon clicking on the first link, we will get navigated to the page where we can download it. So here uh, we have to give our uh, mail ID and in the next page, uh, you can, uh, by giving few inputs, uh, like uh, what is your area of work, uh, what you are going to do with this uh, uh, visualizer and all, uh, you can download it, which is uh, free of cost again which I'm not going to show right now uh, as uh, uh, downloading this visualizer uh, really takes a lot of time because it's a very big uh, file. So, uh, which I have already downloaded this and I have installed this for your our, uh, easy uh, completion of this uh, tutorial, which I'm going to show you now. As uh, we have discussed earlier, uh, we are going to see three steps in this part one. Uh, one is uh, downloading and installing a Pyrex software, which we have did. The next one is uh, uh, Discovery Studio Visualizer. And coming to the third part is to download uh, proteins and ligands. For this particular tutorial, I have selected cyclooxygenase 1 as a protein and few well-known uh, ligands like ibuprofen, aspirin, sulindac, and indomethacin as the ligands. So now let us see how we are going to download these particular uh, protein and ligands 
So in order to uh, download our uh, selected protein, that is uh, cyclooxygen is one, we should go to the protein data bank website that is uh, rcsb.org. And here in the search bar, uh, I'm going to search cyclooxygen is one and let us see what sort of results we are going to uh, witness here. Yeah, we can see human ox one crystal structure. Uh, I guess this should be fine. And I have clicked on this particular uh, protein, which uh, page was open, that is 6Y3C. Now I'm going to download this particular protein uh, where uh, you can see download files here. After that, there is a small drop down. If you click on that, you can see uh, multiple uh, options for uh, downloading this particular uh, protein out of which I am choosing PDB format. So uh, the particular protein of that PDB format was downloaded now and uh, the next thing is to download our uh, ligands which I am going to do it from PubChem where the first ligand what we have chosen is ibuprofen. So uh, let me search for ibuprofen and I can see the result ibuprofen. If I click on this, I would be able to download uh, its uh, uh, 2D and 3D conformers. I would like to prefer 3D conformer uh, so that uh, we can get uh, good results here. After seeing this 3D conformer over here, I am going to download these in STF format. So that's what we can see it here. Uh, so uh, later uh, coming to the next ligand is aspirin which again I'm going to do the same scrolling down uh, to find out the 3D conformer and then downloading it in SDF format it was also downloaded and the next one is Sulindac So clicking on this Sulindac and trying to download the uh, 3D conformer of uh, Sulindac. And the last selected one is Indomethacin. So Indomethacin. Scrolling down for its 3D conformer. Yeah, I'm downloading its uh, uh, SDF format of uh, 3D conformer. So now uh, we have downloaded all proteins and uh, ligands. We have also installed uh, Pyrex and Discovery Studio. Now uh, let me show you how the folder looks. So now on my uh, desktop, you could be uh, able to see this uh, Pyrex, which we have installed. Uh, Discovery Studio Visualizer client which I have already earlier installed and here for our easy convenience I have uh, created a new folder with the name Pyrex in which uh, I have saved the downloaded protein and the ligands. So I have renamed the ligands uh, with its original names instead of uh, CID so that uh, we can easily identify uh, and read uh, the docking results. So uh, this is uh, what uh, we have to do. So by the end of this uh, tutorial uh, in your particular desktop or else somewhere else the folder where you are going to work should have your uh, selected protein and ligands and apart from that you should be uh, able to use this Pyrex and uh, Discovery Studio. So. So as I said, by the end of the part one, your system uh, should have the installed Pyrex, Discovery Studio Visualizer, selected protein and which we have downloaded, selected ligands and which we have downloaded. Uh, next part of this uh, Pyrex Vina tutorial, we are going to see how we are going to clean the protein so that we can uh, use that cleaned protein for our 
docking purpose using Pyrex. This protein cleaning is done with the help of Discovery Studio Visualizer and which we are going to witness it in our second part. Thank you for uh, watching my video. If you like the content, please do share, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.